One of my favorite books growing up, still is, was Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. Love that book. Think about it. These guys find a map that says there's treasure. But they had to leave their home, get on a ship with pirates, sail across an angry sea, go to a place that they've never been to before just to dig up this treasure. Are you willing to leave home? Are you willing to leave things behind for the greater worth of the kingdom of God? Oh, what are you clinging to that's worthless and missing the things that are invaluable? Are you following the word of the kingdom? Give him your all. Give him your all. Fourthly, thirdly, thirdly, where am I? No, no, you want no. The warning of the kingdom. The warning of the kingdom is in the dragnet. Uh, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that the fishermen set down in the lake and it caught all kinds of fish. And when it was full, they pulled it ashore and began to sort them out. Uh, this was the drag net, not the throw net. There were two kind of nets back in those days, the ones that you threw over and you gathered the few fish that were beside the boat. Then there was the drag net you caught between two boats. You drag it along, you catch everything in between. Sometimes you would put a post on the shore and the end of the net to a boat, and the boat would sail out and come back to the post and catch all the fish in between. And then you're on shore and you drag that net onto the shore. It's called a drag net because it's indiscriminate in what it catches. It catches everything in its path. That is symbolic of the judgment day of God. God has already thrown his net. You're going to get caught. Just know it. You're going to get caught in this net. Are you a good fish or a bad fish? That's the parable. There's only two fish in this net. Did you read that story? There's only two fish. The good fish and the bad fish. Are you willing to follow Jesus Christ so you know you are found in favor with him, in his grace, in his goodness? Oh, that we would make that choice. The warning is there's a day of judgment and you don't know when it is. When they got on that ride at the Ohio State Fair, they didn't know. <laughs> that one boy didn't know it was his last day on earth. He didn't know. You don't know your last day on earth. You don't know. But you're already in the net. <laughs> you're caught. You need to know whether you're ready for that day or not. In 1986, the, the shuttle, the space shuttle Challenger lifted off in a glorious plume of a wonderful thrust. 73 seconds into that flight, it exploded in front of all our eyes. You know what caused it? Two O-rings, about the size of a penny. <laughs> Two O-rings, that big, exploded the whole space shuttle. You don't know your day of judgment. You don't. The warning is... You're already caught. Make sure you're ready to be dragged ashore. The image is there's a day at the end of the age. There's a day at the end of the age when the net is full, i.e. when every human being to be born has been born and had the chance to believe in Jesus Christ, then God will judge the world. He'll be ready. God's already thrown the net. Are you ready to answer to yeah. Oh, there's a warning in this parable. Are you ready? Finally, fourthly, the wisdom of the kingdom. I love this. He said, have you understood these things? <laughs> have you understood? Do you understand the kingdom of God? <laughs> Are you growing in your understanding of the kingdom of God? Are you reading the scriptures? Are you reading the word? Are you studying it like you should? Do you understand what God is doing? And are you making choices based on that understanding? Are you making choices based on the word of God? Anthony Rossi was born in 1900 in Italy, but he wanted to immigrate to America, so when he was a young man, he came into America, 
came in through New York Harbor, where most of the immigrants came from Italy. And his dream was to be a farmer in the South, uh, but he had to start in New York City. So he started a grocery store in New York City. He was pretty successful with it, but he really still wanted to be a farmer. So one day he went to the library at 42nd Street and 5th Avenue, and, and he got a book out on agriculture, and he started to read it. He said, I can do this. This is good stuff. Laying on the table where he was reading the agriculture book was a book that someone had left there. It was about the life of Christ. Anthony said, I, I need to know more about that. I was raised Catholic, but I still don't know who this guy is. So he picked up that book, The Life of Christ, and he said, that's what I really want. I want to live for Jesus Christ. The next day he bought a Bible. He started studying it and has never stopped Anthony Rossi did get his uh, chance. He moved south to Florida and became the Citrus King of Florida. Anthony Rossi started Tropicana, Orange Company, Orange Juice Company. I started with uh, eight employees. When he sold the company, uh, before he died, he had 8,000 <laughs> employees. Uh, but you know what he would say was more important than growing oranges? Living for Jesus Christ. He started several set foundations with his money to give charity to Christian mis missions and ministries. Uh, that foundation still exists and it still is blessing Christian ministries around the world. Oh, he became a good farmer. He became a better Christian. He learned the value of what was really valuable. He understood Jesus Christ. Jesus says, do you understand the kingdom? Nothing's more important than it. Nothing's more valuable than it. And the most important thing you have to do is make a choice to be in it. Because <laughs> the only way you can get in the kingdom is your own choice. You're in the net of judgment. But you can choose what fish you are. <laughs> you can choose your life. It's every choice you're making based upon Jesus Christ and the wisdom of the Word of God. Are you growing in your choices? So that you are a blessing and leaving a blessing in your life. That's the kingdom of heaven. And I pray we're in it. If not, I pray today you join it. Uh, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you love us so much. You sent Jesus Christ to die for our sins so we didn't have to die for them ourselves. I thank you that there is a day when every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord. And I want to be ready for that day. I thank you that you have revealed your wisdom to us in your word. And it's so good. Remind us of that when we have choices to make. That you are better than anything else. Oh Lord, that you get the glory. And in that, we get your goodness and grace. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 398 in your blue hymnal. 398. Jesus calls us. Let's stand and sing that together. <laughs>
receive this blessing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all and abide with us now and forever. Amen.